for being ever so present with us. Father God, as I come asking right now, Holy Spirit, that you move up and down the aisles, that you would do whatever you desire to do tonight. We're asking, Holy Spirit, that you would have your way in the name of Jesus. We're asking for your anointing. We're asking for a fresh fire in the name of Jesus. We, we thank you in advance for moving in our lives and every situation that's brought in the hospital tonight in the name of Jesus. And we said amen. Amen, amen. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. number five. Amen. And when you get there, just say amen. 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 The word of the Lord God reads, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers of his almighty word. And we said amen. Amen. taking any notes. The word for tonight is guidance. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Guidance. So you're like, oh, you came in the right house tonight. Yeah. You're looking for guidance. Thank you, Lord. An easy way to remember guidance is God, you and I dance. Come on now. Yeah. I'm a minister of worship too. You must understand. Guidance is God, you and I. Look at the spelling. G for God, you and I. Do what? Dance. Oh, Hallelujah. Any like good that. dance or no, you got to have a leader. And somebody got to follow. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And you can't have a, a good leader of a day. Two people can't lead. All right now. That means somebody got to follow. Yeah. I tell you what, somebody about to get their dance on. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Somebody's about to be guided tonight. The word guidance. And I looked it up and Webster Gift defines it as, as advice or information to resolve a problem. My God. That sounds like something we need. I don't know about you. It's advice or information to resolve a problem. Mm. My yes. Lord. That's one definition. The second part of that, directing the motion or position of something. So whenever you are obtaining guidance, let's put this biblical, that means that you're looking for information and advice res to resolve a problem. Amen? Amen. Or you're looking for directing of emotion or position of something. Now, I don't know about you, but this passage right here in Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 5 through 6, has been my favorite scripture ever since I was a little, ever since I got saved, I can say. Because the Lord God, when it was given to me, it allowed me to know that God is always directing me. That means he's always directing me and putting me where I need to be. And for me not to, the best part, me not to lean to my own understanding. Because self can get in the way and mess up all of what God wants to do. Now how many real people, people in the house so understand that? Because if you keep doing what you want to do, you're going to miss up what God wants you to do. Come on, but if you trust in the Lord with all your heart. Uh, somebody needs to know that this is a promise. It's not just a, it, it is a promise. Whenever you trust God with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and all your ways, he acknowledged him, he shall. It didn't say he may be. It didn't say if he didn't like the way you acted today. All right now. It didn't say he operated on your feelings. You know, that you're, he said and he shall direct your path. That means regardless of what you do, no matter where you go, if you're leading a the Lord God says if you trust in him with all your heart, he's going to direct your pathway. Is there anybody need some guidance today? Just look forward. If there's some decisions that you've got to make, you step in the right house tonight because God has just read your email. In the name of Jesus. I know you didn't tell anybody, but you're about to get your dance on. God says he's about to lead you and you're going to follow him in the name of Jesus. Uh, people of God, you must understand that as I mentioned, this is a wonderful passage of scripture if you're looking for guidance as to what you need to do. Uh, I, I, and if you're taking any notes tonight, the title of tonight's message, it's really, really simple. I hope you get it. It's called GPS. Oh, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. GPS. Like, wait a minute. 
That doesn't sound like that. Uh, you know, well, we all know what a GPS is. Am I right about it? Yeah. And, and if you have a vehicle, you know a GPS is a global positioning system. Come on. It tells you where you go. But I'm here to tell you that the GPS I'm talking about, it don't sit in your vehicle. It sits inside of you. Come on now. I want you to know that your GPS has just been clicked on today. And God said, I'm about to give you some spiritual direction as to what you need to do. I want you to know, people of God, we all have decisions that we've got to make. Some hard decisions. Some of you had a decision to make earlier today. You still haven't made it up and it's night time. But the Lord God is trying to GPS. He's going to be God's guidance plus safety. Hey. Wow. Ooh, GPS. God's guidance plus safety. I'm going to go a little deeper. I won't even further put God's guidance, protection, and safety. I like that one too. He's my GPS. Tell your neighbor he's my GPS. Tell your neighbor on the other side he's your GPS. Oh, tell him like you mean it. If you're not in asking God to guide you and protect you safely, you're going to have some problems. You ever came to a fork of the road? Yeah. Amen. See, we've heard that in the natural. When you come to a fork of the road, that means you have decisions you've got to make. Uh, some people call it what a crossroad. You ever been at a crossroad where there's, there's two different ways to get there? But there's right there, all of a sudden you come to the end, right there at the end, and it's either you go left or you're going to go right. Come on now. You either go do this or you're going to do that. There's no other avenues. There's no, then you're at the end right there, and the Lord God says, you've come to a crawl like a fork in the road. Which way do I go? Do I got any wrong people in the house that I wonder, what am I supposed to do, Lord God? Do I go to the right or do I go to the left? But I've got the, what you must understand, you've got to do something, though. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, yeah, y'all quiet tonight. Y'all must got some things y'all got to do. But uh, hear the Holy Ghost real well. You've got to make a decision. A fork in the road means you can't just leave a fork there and not do something. You're going to have to take a godly step into one direction or the other. People of God, a fork in the road may mean you have to choose which college you're going to go to. It may be what church you may decide to fellowship at. It might be whether or not what you're going to do with that bill, what you're going to pay, what you're not going to pay. Am I preaching in the right house? What school am I going to take? Do I need to take the shot or do oh, come on, come on. Oh, I'm stepping on your toes here. Yeah, I'm stepping on. I'm to crunch them just a little bit. Do I take the vaccine? Do I not take the vaccine? Do I get the job or do I lose the job? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, see, I'm not going to avoid the elephant in the room. You know the times that we're living in. Because these are some serious decisions we've got to make. Am I right about it? That some of us are looking for guidance. Look, at what do I do? I'm going to give you a, a very, very easy way to know. Respect the check in your spirit, man. If you got an uneasy feeling about it, then don't do it. If you got an okay, don't bother it, well, go do it. It's not market science. Come on now. I know you're hearing all kinds of statistics. You're like, well, which one are you pro? I say, you know what? I pray before I do anything. Let me let you know that. And I'm not going to try to persuade you one way or the other. I'm going to get some backlash from that because you should be telling No, no, no. I'm going to tell you, you need to seek your God. You need to Everything and, I kept, and things kept 
getting worse. I kept getting deeper. I kept messing up. Things were worse off than when I got started. Am I preaching in the right house? Can you hear me in the house tonight? Because, you know, I wasn't letting God guide me. I was following. I was taking somebody else's medication for their sickness. Now, truly, that we were going through something, but that's not what my daddy told me to do. And when the Lord God hit my spirit, man, he said, wait. Well, he said, you know what? It's not going to work. He said, because I told for her to do it, not you. I said, my God, that makes a big difference because if God told it to her, it was a divine prescription for her to do. And she had to follow it to the T. But then I'm not in her marriage. I don't have a kid. I don't have the bills. I don't have the look. I said, I have nothing in common as to what detailed thing that God was working in her life. But yet I want to take a medication. Well, I'm preaching up in here. See, son, you're quiet in the house. See, some of us, you're doing what somebody else told you to do because it worked for them. The Lord God said, you're about to get your guide. You better let God and you and I dance. You better let, listen to the Lord and let him guide you because if he didn't tell you to do a particular thing, you don't do it. My God. Woo. You see, the scripture says, trust in the Lord. It didn't say trust in everybody else. It didn't say trust, Lord, help. Boy, I'm going on the deep end. Somebody got the sense of the message I can tell you right now. It didn't say trust. Yeah. <laughs> 
They're not bougie. I can really get the sabbath. Help me, Lord God. If that individual is not saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, don't take that road. Because it's going to be a path you will regret. Temporary today, permanent tomorrow. You're like, oh, I like it. You won't like it today. What you going to do tomorrow? Because when it's permanent, you're like, I can't get rid of that.
to be able to handle the things that you're trying to mm -hmm. tap into if you don't have the Holy Ghost with you. Amen. 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 All because you Amen. feel that it's the right thing to do. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go beyond that because a lot of times, and I know I'm not the only one who made decisions on their feelings. Anybody in here? You felt that it was good. You didn't pray about it. Tell the truth, say that they'll pick them hands up in the house. I know, I know there's more than just two people that did something that they felt that it was right and they did it anyhow. You can just be on your end daddy's house and don't pay the line over there. and he instructs you which way to go. You don't have to pray about it. You just walk in it. Yeah. Right. Come on now. It's like, well, you're not going to pray for that business? No, but I don't need to pray for it because God gave it to me and I followed his instructions. I didn't go ahead of him. I waited so I don't need to pray. I just need to thank him. That's all I'm going to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you, Lord. God, thank you. Lord. See, like, well, you mean to me you're not going to pray for that? No, 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 because my father directed me. I waited. I did what he told me to do. So I'm just going to say, thank you, Lord. God, thank you, Lord. But see, we get it like I've done before. We we get in a situation, then we're praying, oh Lord, God, please, oh please bless it. Please, please. But Lord God said we did it out of order. So I come tonight to tell you that God wants you to dance with him. It's called guidance. Uh, it says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. People of God in everything that you do. Not just with one area. I need you to take the Lord God in every single thing that you're going through. Not just to fork in the road for school or for, for work or for, for things in your relationship. Every single thing. I'm telling you, even your spiritual growth. You should need, you know what? Put it in the Lord God, what should I do? I, I, even for, uh, let me go even deeper. It depends even with your praise and worship. Amen. Oh, I'm going deeper. Amen. Because right you know what? If the Lord God tell you to shout and shout. Uh -huh. what? You're the, you're holding it, you're messing, you're holding up the flow. Amen. And the Lord God tell you to lift up your hand. Now you know it's something that you don't do, but God tells you to lift up your hand. And all of a sudden, do you realize that, that that's following his instruction? Amen. The Lord God tell you to clap, clap. Yes, right. He don't tell you to don't clap. Yeah. I'm, come, Amen. Check <laughs> right here. Or I'm preaching right there. Somebody just got a lesson. You're like, oh my God, you better get it. <laughs> if he didn't give you that, he did that's right. Come on, you need guidance. You don't just do it. Situation. I was talking about a GPS. Remember how we talk about that? That, that he's not a GPS, but in, in a vehicle, it's a, a global positioning system. And it'll put you in that. How many of you clicked into your GPS? You put an address, it took you something, you're like, I don't even know where I'm at. You ever been there? Well, I'm already bad with directions. Already. Already. You can give me the landmark, four corner, what? 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 I miss it completely right there. Oh, there it is. I'm that bad with directions. I'm that bad. And so when they put the GPS, they're like, oh, you got the GPS. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you ever done that before? I'm not preaching it up. When you put in the information correctly, the zip code, and you're like, my God, I'm on. I'm just all over the place. And all of a sudden, it's right across the street. <laughs> GPS will do that. Yeah. It'll put you, you pass it on the road, dirt road, proper road, hours. And you're like, my God, I pass every day. I know what it has to happen. You see, that's how God, see, man made, I'm trying to give you a point. See, whenever you rely upon man made system, it'll take you in places that you don't want to go. Amen. To get you to the same place that God told you, I can tell you how to get to. I'm going to protect you while you're going. 
and then I'm going to keep you safe while you're there. Amen. Ooh, somebody need to get that. Come on. He's going to guide it to you. I'm going to get you where you need to go. I'm going to protect you while you're going there. And when you get there, I'm going to keep you safe. That's your GPS. Oh, that's worth the amen right there. That's your GPS. The Lord God's telling you today that I am your GPS. The word the Lord God's telling us tonight that we cannot rely upon our own selves. That God says, I'm, I'm speaking this message, and as the Lord God is ministering to some of you, he said, I need for you to follow my footsteps. Amen. Yes. Whoa. The Lord God tells you to take something. You know what? Then if he tells you to do it, oh, I'm going over there. You know what? Because he's, he's my Jehovah Rapha, the Lord yes. God that heals me. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I believe in healing. I believe, yes, I believe that the Lord God does do divine healing, but I also know that he healed them as they went. Yeah. The moment God spoke his word and says that by his stripes you are healed, yeah. whenever you yeah. come to that altar, when the GPS gets you, yeah. boop, 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 bop, bop, you are here. <laughs> when you get to that place in God, and the Lord God says, receive your healing, you don't walk away from that, but you receive that right then and there. And when you leave from that spot, say, I already got it. I already got it. I know I'm here. Whenever God tells you that you're blessed, whatever God tells you, whatever God has told you, when you get to that destination, say, I already got it. Thank you, Lord God. Maybe you're like, well, did it manifest? It will manifest as you go. Come on now. See, some things happen instantaneously. Some things happen immediately, right at the moment. But there's a lot of healings that take place after you've left the building. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of deliverance that happens on the way. Yeah. See, I don't know about you, but uh, back in the day when I used to be on the other side, and the man, the woman of God was preaching, boy, I had a car ride. <laughs> that car ride, I was, I was it, tore up. All in the book, but by the time I made it to my destination, I had my answer, I was delivered, I was set free, and I was like, my God. But I wanted it to be done all at the altar. I was like, why couldn't it be done at the house? Oh, Lord. The Lord God said, because I wanted to give you some privacy. Somebody better get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some things the Lord God wanted to deliver yeah. you from that nobody needs to be around. Amen. Yes. 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 Somebody better get that nugget right there. Yes. Hallelujah. It just yes. Because the Lord God said, I know you better than you know yourself. Yes. 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 Self would say, then you already, you're going to be reserved. So the Lord God said, you know what? Wait till you get, wait till you get to the drive home. Because yes. 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 I'm your guidance, I'm your protection. I'm going to protect you all the way. Yeah. I'm telling you, people of God, whenever you are trusting upon the Lord and leading out to your own, and God will have you to do and to go and do certain things that you would not normally do. Yeah. But God's going to be protecting you all the while. Yeah. And you don't know how you made it. You don't know how I got through that. I don't know how I got through that type of abuse. The Lord God said, I protected you. Yeah. Come on, Holy yeah. Ghost. Come on. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Why? Because I followed God's instructions. He was my GPS. I know no disrespect, Lord, but he was my GPS, he guided me, he protected me, and he kept me safe. I want you to know that tonight, people of God, the Lord God says, I'm guiding you to make some decisions tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did tell you Psalms 119. Yeah, 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 I did tell you that. Psalms 119, 105, it says, your word should be a light unto my footsteps. I want you to know that the Lord God says, I'm about to illuminate your pathway. Thank you, Lord God. He said, I'm not going to leave you walking in the dark. He said, I'll make the darkness light. Yeah. Oh, come on now. He said, I'm not going to have you walking. You ever been groping in the darkness? You ever, you ever uh, went, went in a place and it got so dark and, and you, you're you like, well, what is groping? Let me give you a good definition. Groping is when you're feeling for something to make sure you don't hurt yourself. It's called groping. You ever groping through dark? Some of us, you got a decision to make and you're groping through the darkness. Which way do I go? Yeah, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. I don't know. Should I go over here? Yeah. And, and do I need to do this over here? I don't understand what, what I need to do. I, I'm getting a little bit confused. I'm groping. I'm, I'm trying to bump up against something and see, oh, oh maybe, maybe it's that way. Oh, oh, oh. And the Lord God says, no, no, no. I'm about to illuminate your pathway. Oh, Jesus. I'm about to put the light on. <laughs> Yeah, come on here. It can be dark 
head, they can be a little, you know, not on the